Hello friends, welcome back to your channel Learn and Earn, myself Dayanand and this is Excel VBA 2016 Beginners to Advanced Edition uh, Part 12. So in this uh, tutorial we will be discussing on a for loop. So one of the important control structures in looping is for loop. You know, it's very important for you to know what are the capabilities of for loop and where you can use this so that you can effectively demonstrate in your working environment. Okay, let me tell you why do we need to use looping structure. So when you got to do the same activity again and again repeatedly, you rather than typing five or six lines of code, you can just simply use one for loop which can perform five activities one after other. Look at an example here. I would like to say I only have a sheet, one sheet. I would like to create, say, five to six sheets. So either I can create a new sheet, insert sheet, and then click on create. Like this, I can create even five sheets, one by one, or I can either use a for loop directly so that I can create all the five sheets in one go. Okay, let me show you a demonstration of this. But before we continue, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and also share this with your friends because this channel not only gives you learning and also gives you tips on earning on a daily basis. Yeah, and also watch my uh, playlist. If you go to, you find another playlist called Make Money Online. So you can certainly watch all the videos which will help you make handsome income uh, monthly. Okay, so let us continue. So for loop. Now, I'll give you uh, the basic syntax what you have to use. So whatever, you can see this here, which is highlighted in blue. This is what the syntax you must be following for a for loop. Uh, here, for, you need to give a value. I'm using i as a, a variable. You can use any alphabetical letter or even a word as well. So for example, we'll keep this i is equal to give some initial value it can be even 0 1 any initial value to any other value say for example i would like to run it from 1 to 4 1 to 10 for example okay now between for and next so you see the next is again another syntax first you will use for give initial value for the first variable to use what will be the last value and then write all your statements you want to perform here in between for and next between here okay and after writing all just mention next i next i is nothing but in the first loop i value will be one when the next i when it goes back to the for loop and i value increase to two and comes down to the next again i value increase to three and i value will be keep on increasing till i becomes 4 and then it stops the execution and moves down to the end of the for loop and then continues with any other coding below okay so it's very very important for you to understand the basic concept for loop you will use wherever whenever you need to perform same activity multiple number of times okay and let me show you an example for this say i would like to uh, create five sheets okay I don't want to create using this regular option I would like to do it uh, automatically okay so let me move on to this VBA okay let I initialize for I value 1 to say 5 and I would like to add what worksheet worksheets dot add okay now I have assigned this to the for loop button so you can see only one sheet there when I click on for loop look at the number of sheets created one two three four five sheets by just click of one button five sheets if I click once again I'll get another five sheets created right the power of for loop let me show you another example I'll remove this add worksheet say I would like to mentioned learn and earn my channel name on the cell here okay now this is quite interesting for you uh, i will not give, define the last value the end value i would take the value from the the cell which is here okay which is the d1 
okay let me tell this cells 1 comma 4 sorry that is 1 comma 4 okay all he has to write learn and earn subscribe okay let me write this so here i i have five lines so even if i say 10 when i click on for loop the 10 lines will be filled with learn and earn if i fill 20 i get 20 lines learn and earn so i can this is something user defined so you can leave it to the user to choose number of lines and number of sheets to be created and then you can use this for loop value you can also use input box which i have explained you in the uh, previous examples so use input box to receive input from the user you may ask how many sheets you want to create or how many lines you want to enter so it depends on your programming objective okay so all i'm keeping it here uh cells i comma one so it will keep on changing the rows okay at any time if you would like to know what is the value of the i you can also use message box for that say so, well, let me show you msg box message box and i want to see what is the value for i okay let me run this i'll keep this to 10 let's say five when I click on for loop, the first time the value of the i is 1 because the first time we are setting the value is to 1. Then, let me say OK. I get the next loop, the value increases to 2. It goes back to 2. And when I say OK again, the third value, when the cursor controller goes back to the uh, for, for loop, for the third time, i value will be increased to next i value, which is 3. You can see four and five and then exiting from the loop so this is all what i wanted to show you guys today I, uh, explaining the for loop and basic structure of for loop and with a couple of examples here so go back home and then try working out or uh, do the best you can and then implement your own concept okay now from uh, next video i'm planning to start user forms so we are moving on to the next level of excel learning so, so far you have learned the basic theories in the first nine videos. In the last three videos, I've showed you a couple of examples based on Excel working. Now, uh, so far, if you notice, we only worked on modules. We will now, in the from the next video, we'll start with user form. I believe me, these are going to be much more uh, informative and also uh, more useful when it comes to real-time life. Okay. Well, that's it for today. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and please do share with your friends. Any questions you have got, please do comment. So I'll be happy to answer all my viewers. Happy learning, guys. All the best.